Okay, over to the Mastercraft Kitchen with Mark. And Mark, great to have you back because it's been your first week. We've also got your um, your Phil and Tim in, in the audience today. So, how are you, Tim? You good? Nice, He's nice. Watching. He's watching. He's watching. <laughs> no pressure. I can swap if you want. <laughs> what are you making today? Right, today we've got a perfect family favourite for Friday. We've got our open mushroom ravioli. No, we haven't. We've got an open mushroom lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that again. Oh, no, we're live. Yeah. <laughs> Tim! <laughs> right, so an open mushroom lasagna. Right, so I hear you say, what's an open mushroom lasagna? What's well, an open not... mushroom lasagna? Oh, there you go. It's not a ravioli. It's, uh, it is a lasagna, but instead of like building layers and then baking it for ages in the oven and spending lots of time doing different sauces and all that, we're just going to do all the separate components and we're going to build it up on the plate last minute and a bit of cheese and then gratinate it. So it's really fast and it's all going to be about the mushrooms. Um, so this a, a, can be a vegetarian dish if you like it. We've got mushrooms in there, nice selection. We've got nuts, we've got cheese, we've got pasta, garlic. Um, and if you want a bit of meat in there, we can put some bacon in there. So that's optional extra. So I'm going to put some in today because I love bacon. Um, so we've got all these beautiful mushrooms, filled mushrooms here butter mushrooms here and some Swiss browns. So all we're going to do, I'm going to start prepping this now and come back a bit later and I'm going to show you all the different components and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do and we'll make it later. Here we are in the Mastercraft kitchen with the Mastercrafter himself, uh, Mark, who is back in the kitchen after a great holiday. Um, and this is a good sized family meal you're making today, isn't it? Yeah, so it's, it's really fun. It's packed full of mushrooms. We've got a bit of bacon in there, but you can leave it out if you want to do a vegetarian dish. We've got cheese in there, spinach, and we're going to have some fun later building this dish. Mm, yeah. Perfect for the kids. So our open mushroom lasagna is what we're doing. So you're That's just heating it. up the pan. Yeah. <laughs> and then... Uh, Please from here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of butter in. Yeah, yeah. So get it butter. nice and hot. Nice. And then we're going to start frying our mushrooms. Okay. So we've got a selection here. So if you notice there, I've cut them quite thick. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to do them too thin. You want a bit of bite to them. So we're going to get a nice colour on there. And because when you cook mushrooms, there's a lot of liquid in there. So, it, you know, the liquid will come out when you cook them, so they right. will shrink. Yum, that smells good. Really. So don't don't overcrowd the mushrooms. pan. Yeah. Right, so don't overcrowd the pan. Can't go wrong. So a little bit of seasoning. Yep. All right, and then we've got some garlic here. So I've just sliced this really fine, just into slices. So I pop a little bit of that in, just as the mushrooms are cooking, so we get that nice flavour. Does it matter what sort of mushrooms you use? No, just a selection. I mean, different times of the year you get different mushrooms. Right. Um, so whatever you can find. I mean, I've just been over in Europe and there's a fantastic selection of mushrooms over there, like seps, truffles, you know, little drolls, everything. So whatever you can get your uh, hands on, really. Well, well I, I, I usually go to Countdown, so <laughs> not, not Europe. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'll take your advice on board. It's a little bit excessive going to Europe, but well worth it. Yeah, it is. Right, so just keep, keep frying these around. So you can see we're getting some nice colour on there. Yeah. Just get a little bit of heat in that bacon so it just sort of melts down. <laughs> Yum. Yum. I love a good lasagna. Actually, there's not much I don't like, in all honesty, is <laughs> yeah. there? Hey, do you need me to do anything? No, we're pretty good, actually. Ah, OK. Oh. So, so we've got our lasagna sheets here. Yes. So we've just got some, um, just some dry pasta there. You can use fresh if you want, or you can use dried. So I'm just going to cut it into some little rectangles. OK. And then I'm just going to blanch this. So we're going to do we're doing all of these components, like, separately. So we're going to get sort of three or four per each stack. Okay, so it's not a case of putting everything in a pan and then putting it in the oven. We're going to build it slowly. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah, cool. So, so that's that's the fun part of it, you know, and perfect for the kids, as we were saying before. So you can get all these stages ready. So it is quite fast once you get all the stages ready, and then everyone can build their own plate, put it in the oven, and then everyone can sit down and eat it all together. Nice. So a little bit of time going in there now. Yep. Hi, so mushrooms, bacon, and butter. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. Nice. <laughs> little bit, a bit of pepper. More seasoning. And, and, you know, that's what, that's what we're looking for. A nice colour on the mushroom. It's going to give us some nice flavour, but it's still quite chunky, you know? We've got texture in there. All right, so just going to tip them out. Oh, dangerous leaving that there. So, <laughs> just move it a little bit yeah, push away. it away. Right, and then we've got some pine nuts as well, which we've just toasted before. OK. So they'll go through as well. And then now we're going to make a little cream sauce. So instead of making a bechamel, just going to get a little bit of cream. Yep. Use the same pot, so deglaze it. Just sort of those flavours from yep. the mushroom and the bacon in there. That's it. There's a little bit of nutmeg in there as well. Okay. And then we're going to grate some uh, pecorino in here. 
And then that's going to give us sort of a nice creamy cheese sauce. Yeah. And then I'm just going to finish that with a little bit of spinach, and then that's going to be one layer. Nice work. OK, well, if you want the recipe, you just need to go to the cafe.co.nz. So we'll come back here very soon. So you've got your cheese, you've got everything in there. That's it. Pasta sheets going in. So they only take a couple sheet. of minutes. Yes, is that, is that how long? A couple of minutes? Yeah, a couple of minutes. Just a little nice and soft. Still al dente, though. Excellent. Well, we'll come back. We will build our open mushroom lasagna very soon, right in front of your eyes. Uh, Mark, how's the um, lasagna looking? It right, smells we, good. We are finished. So we've built it up, we've done pasta, we've got the cream sauce and we've got those beautiful mushrooms in there. We're just going to finish it, a little bit more pecorino on top. You guys want to try it? Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Stupid question really. Yeah, that was a stupid question. <laughs> okay, so this go. is good. So you just build it the way you want it. That's it, oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. So try some. This would be great in my house because Every single one of my children hates mushrooms, so there'd be more for me. <laughs> and for you, then. Yeah, exactly. Great to have you back. Um, thank you so much. Back. And you you've done no. a great you job over the last three days. Tim did a great okay. job while you, uh, you were away as well. <laughs> but it is nice to have you back. Uh, what are you going to do next week? Right, well, I'm going to do a roof stew. Oh, yum. Just, okay. I'll, I'll nice. cover that just fell off there. Oh, you know, okay. I'm feeding Jason Carrison, everybody. Oh. <laughs> is that exciting? Yeah. Thank you. Oh,